brand new Let's Play. Uh, this is not a Let's Play, or not a blind Let's Play as the previous ones, but I have already played this game. Uh, very much. Okay. The ship is a... God, I guess calling it a first-person shooter is about the closest thing to being right as possible. In any case, it has four different modes, and I'm going to be playing through all, th all four of them. Uh, we're going to start with tutorial mode, then we're going to single player, arcade, and I will hold my breath and jump into the depths of multiplayer and see if anybody is even playing this game anymore, because it is an old game. This is from 2006, and I think it was finally released commercially in 2007. Plummeted. Welcome aboard. Oh, I'm here to familiarize you with the ship. Sexy. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to walk around. Try it. Use the jump key to jump. Try it. Use the crouch key to crouch. Try it. When she says jump, I ask how high. Good. Now let's find out a bit more about yourself. Yeah. Your identity is shown in the top left corner. Oh, good lord. I'm off you the have screen. a portrait of yourself. And you have a named identity. Yeah, named identity. What? Oh, I'm uh, Charlie M. Panther. Well, that's pretty. Can, I wonder, you know, I'm going to have to check this when I get uh, back. Oh, God, they want me to do stuff. You can also check out your bank account, as well as how much cash you... Also shown is your current location, as well as the deck you are on. Did she didn't say deck? Okay, there. Cabin 3, deck B. I guess it just come in over here. While on board the ship, you will need to take care of your needs, or suffer some embarrassing side effects. Take some embarrassing side effects. Your needs are displayed in order of priority, below oh your God. portrait. By default, them. they are only displayed when they are at over 50%. I can't see Needs them. change color to reflect their urgency. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this into windowed view because I can't... Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Okay. I don't know what the need says over there because, and I'm not sure if this is going to show up on, on fraps or anything, but <laughs> on my screen there's some kind of graphic error and, and it's cutting off the left side of the screen so I can't actually see what's To display on. all your needs at one time, if a need turns purple, you will have a limited time to take care of it, right. as indicated um, by the bar around the icon, or suffer the consequences. You can take care of your needs in a number of ways, uh -huh. by interacting with the environment, objects within it, or objects you are carrying. For instance, to get some sleep, simply left-click on that bed. Right. To interact with something, make sure you are close enough to it, and you have an interaction icon on rollover. I imagine that's what this You will remain asleep till your need is satisfied. Try it now. Hey, you got it, babe. You gonna join me in this? Don't worry about killing your... Oh, God, that happens quickly. Some Some no items idea. have more than one interaction. For example, chairs. Right-click the rollover icon to see what other actions you can... Now try sleeping in the chair. What? Right-click to bring up the options, and then select Sleep. Left-click to perform the action. Right-click anywhere off the icons to abandon the interaction. Yeah, I already know all this stuff, but she's just got a real sexy voice. So. Mouse 3, cool. What's that do? Good. The other way to take care of your needs is through your inventory. 
your inventory. If you press I, you will open your inventory. Do it. In your inventory, you can see your player portrait, which shows what you are wearing, as well as the items you are carrying. There is also a deck plan, which we will cover later. Did you say deck? In your inventory, you will notice you have a can of juice and a bag of crisps. What? I did? Left click on either item to find out more information about it. I swear to God that wasn't there. The information is displayed at the bottom of your inventory screen. To use an item in your inventory, right click on it or drag it onto your hands icon. As you can see, your thirst need has gone down, but your need for a pee is increasing. Many needs interactions have side effects, much like many things in life. You're in life. Now let's have a look at containers. Containers are important on board the ship, yeah. as by searching through them you can find useful items and weapons. See that wardrobe over there? Use your CSI to open it. CSI? <laughs> really? We're gonna call it CSI. Well, what is their CSI? Is they talking about pressing C, S, and I? Oh, no. <laughs> well, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take this. And that. Wait, wardrobe? Let's just talk about this over here. Good. Left click to get more information about items in a... Yeah, yeah, sure. Well done. Ooh, you can close the container with the close container button. You can also open up your inventory to take items. Okay. From this screen, you can drag items from the container to your inventory, or from your inventory to the container. Right clicking on items in the container will also take the items from the container. You don't say. Try using either method to take the weapon from the container. I don't. Mm, which weapon? Ooh, axe! Heck <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Good. Why don't we change our outfit while we are here? Yeah, why don't to change costume, either right click on the one you want to wear, or drag the costume into the costume slot next to your portrait. See, I can't do it while you're watching. We can also assign weapons in our inventory. As you can see, we have a couple of weapons in our inventory, and they have numbers associated with them. So why isn't this These numbers correspond to the key you press to wield them. You can have up to four hot items. You can reassign them in a couple of ways. Either drag a different weapon to that slot, or press a different key to assign that weapon to that key. Try swapping the weapon hotkeys now. Man, I feel like Gordon Freeman. Yeah. Oh, hey, I can just, you know, shoot shit. Oh, crap. Aha! Aha! Oh wait, what were we supposed to do? Um Great. Whoa. Now let's close the inventory screen. Too late. This closes the container too. Use the X icon in the bottom right corner of the inventory or press escape. You press escape. Oh I'm crying out loud. We could have checked out the deck plan in our inventory by clicking on the deck plan tab. Inventory. But we can also check out the deck plan by pressing V. Give it a try now. V. Wait, or did she say D? No. Crap, what did she say? Whoa, hey. Uh, candlestick. Uh, put that away. No, put it away. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. E? P? Oh. The deck plan shows you the types of rooms as well as the needs interactions within them. To check the needs interactions, select the need you want and it will be shown on the deck plan. You're if it is on the deck you are looking at. You can check out other decks with the arrows above and below the deck plan. Press escape or P to close the deck plan when you are done. I'm done, baby. So now you know about your character your needs, your inventory, containers, and the context-sensitive interface, oh, CSI. CSI. We're making good progress. Almost done. Ducky! <coughs> Sorry, that was duck time.
All you need to know about now is your quarry and the security system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on. Your quarry, the person you have to kill, is displayed on the bottom right corner. Hoot. Hoot to the hoot. If you don't know what your quarry looks like, i.e. you have never met them, they will be displayed as a silhouette. I don't think that's how you use the term IE, but I'm no writer. Once you have met your quarry, their image will be displayed in the last outfit you knew they were wearing. Oh, that Note, you, they could change in the meantime. Your quarry's location is updated regularly and shown next to their image. Red text means the information is hot. Blue text means it's cold. Hey, you're hot, baby. Wait, the information is hot. First off, let's start with the Eye of Doom, which is displayed what? by your quarry's portrait. Oh, okay. The eye is... The eye turns red whenever someone is watching you, be they passenger, guard, or camera. In this case, you can see a guard icon to indicate a guard can see you. If you pulled out a weapon, you would be instantly arrested. Cameras will also turn the eye red as shown by the camera icon. What is wrong with if you pulled eyes? out a weapon, you would be instantly arrested. Note, some cameras rotate, so keep your eye on the cameras and learn their patterns. My eyes have no pupils. Passengers also count as witnesses. However, they work differently to guards and cameras. Mm -hmm. If you pull a weapon out when a passenger is witnessing you, a timer will count down to your arrest. Yeah. If you're in an area which is a trespass area, and there is either a crewman, camera, guard, or passenger witnessing you, you could be caught trespassing. A timer appears next to the trespass icon, mm -hmm. and counts down to your arrest. And as it does so, you will be fined every so often. Ching. One point about trespassing is that there are other areas you shouldn't go. For instance, men shouldn't be using the women's toilets. It's just not right, is it? If you are spotted there by someone else, you will be fined. But you will not be arrested. Got so many rules. Okay, so that's the security system covered. Mm -hmm. I should add that if you are arrested, you will be taken to court, processed, fined, and given a sentence or both. And once your sentence is over, you will be released. If you successfully kill your quarry, you will be rewarded with money from Mr. X. You can find out how much money you will receive for using each weapon by checking... Okay, I think that's us done. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, one more thing. Yeah. Sprinting. Yeah. You can sprint by holding down the sprint key. When you do, you will see a sprint meter appear next to your portrait. Yes. When the sprint meter is empty, you cannot sprint. The sprint meter recharges over time. Yes. Sprinting also increases your fatigue, so use it sparingly. You will not be able to sprint if you're exhausted. I'm gonna exhaust the hell out of myself. Oh god, I'm so tired. Okay. So you are now a trained killer, ready to take the world on. Not quite. We'd recommend you either try the single-player story mode or the single-player arcade mode to get some more practice in and get used to how this all fits together before you take on the world of online opponents. Good luck and happy hunting. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so... Next time, we will be... Fighting in Kung Fu fashion. Later.